Welcome into the Rowdy Studios where we talk wild card. It's wild. wild. It's wild and wacky. Are we any closer to seeing how this is going to play out? We're about 11 races from cutting to the chase. We've got a couple guys outside the top 10 with wins, but only one of those guys is also in the top 20, and that's Jeff Gordon with but, not one, but two wins. But what's really interesting is where are we going next week? Sonoma, who's sitting in 21st right now? Marcus, Marcus Ambrose. Ambrose. Who's sitting in 15th? Juan Pablo Montoya. Right. Well, but see, I, I in my Power Bowl, because we vote on the Sporting News NASCAR Power Bowl, and, and I wrote for Marcus Ambrose, I said, this is is a must win for him and I don't think that's an exaggeration because he's got to get back into the top 20 and he's got to get at least one win under his belt if he has any right. hopes of making the chase so I think Sonoma is a must win for Marcus Ambrose well, if you look at these two races the road course races we got 11 races to go two of them are road course uh, racetracks so you got Juan Pablo Marcus Ambrose Tony Stewart who Nick, doesn't have Tony a win Stewart, who doesn't have a win is not in the top 10 right now so you got I think when you look at the that's three guys Two different tracks where they will have a very good chance to win. I think you're looking at, as Reed Spencer said in his article on Sporting News, I think you're looking at needing a win to get the wild card. Let's just say one of those wild card spots is going to go to Jeff Gordon. Right. right. So at least, but see, he could make it into the top ten. It's, uh, that's the other he thing. Could. And you could you could make the wild card with no wins. But I just feel like you're going to need at least one. I don't think you're going to need two. You're going to need to be the top guy with one though to claim that wild right, card. Right. Because if Jeff Gordon claims one of them, then whoever is the uh, next highest ranked guy with one will take the other. So so it's important not only for for just for a Marcus Ambrose. It's not only important for him to win. It's important to keep for him to keep Juan Pablo Montoya from winning. Well, and the thing is, if Marcus Ambrose were to win that race, he would probably move into the top 20 in points. Much as Denny Hamlin won at Michigan, moved into the top 10, so could Marcus Ambrose. But Juan Pablo is still ranked ahead of him, so if Juan Pablo wins the other road course... Then all bets are off. So, uh, but, but these guys, I think the, the wild card situation is very much in flux. And what we're going to find at Richmond is, I think, a very confusing situation. Because anyone between 11th and 20th if only one win will give you that wild card, then you might have a bunch of guys with a chance to get into the chase, depending on where everyone's situated in points, if they were to win the Richmond race. Some of those guys may actually be rooting for another driver to finish ahead so they can move into the chase via the top 10 and not take one of the wild card spots. So it's going to be very interesting, all the contingencies when we get to Richmond of how this wild card will be earned. But I think the wisdom that you'll need two wins to get it because Jamie McMurray had a couple wins last year. I don't think so. I think also once we start getting closer to Richmond, you're going to see guys really hanging it out there, whether it be uh, tire calls or fuel strategy, just getting wacky, nutty to try to grab that win in order to secure, secure themselves a chase spot. Well, here's the other thing. You know, drivers will act tell you we approach every racetrack with – the intent to win, and we put our maximum effort into every racetrack. And if you ask them, well, what about your good tracks? Do you put more emphasis on that? I was like, no, no, no. Well, listen, if you've got a really good track for you, and you're in between 11th and 20th, and you know at this point it's going to be hard to move from out of the chase to into the chase. It's going to be hard. Not that some one or two guys won't do it. A Tony could do it. A Greg Biffle could do it. A Jeff Gordon could do it. But it's going to be hard. So if you've got a couple of tracks that are good for you, you, you need to think about <laughs> emphasizing your performance on those racetracks. And also, check the weather radar, man, because a few fuel race or a, a rain-shortened race or a fuel mileage race, that could give somebody an unexpected win. Absolutely. The wild card. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wacky. And that's our take on it from the Rowdy Studios. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.